Hi and welcome back to Best Banners Ever. Today's video I will be continuing on with my learning with Spark AR. So first of all I thought I'd just quickly show you where we got to. So in the previous video I had floating donuts around the head. I eventually added in this very cool space helmet which I got off uh, Sketchfab. Um, but then obviously I decided that you know it would be great if the helmet could open. So I went away and had a look into that. Um, I spoke to my mate Mick and he's made me a new helmet. So I'm going to close this project now and I'm going to open up the new project and show you where I got to. Okay, so I'll just increase the size of the screen a moment. All right. Okay, so first of all, the obvious thing is that the helmet is completely different. Well, Basically what I realised in the end was that the helmet I had was a bit too complicated. Don't get me wrong, it was a very cool helmet, but it was a bit too complicated for the scene I was trying to create. Also, um, I needed a shorter helmet. So I'll just quickly show you this one. Um, also I'll link to um, this object of Mix uh, Sketchfab account. So just rotate round, holding a command, there you go, you can see. And then obviously over here I'll just show you the hierarchy, so we've got a helmet and a visor. Um, it also came along with all the assets and the textures and the directional lights. Um, I can't remove those at this moment in time, so we'll probably get an updated version from Mick at some point just to have those elements removed. Uh, just a side note, just to apologise for the loudness of my laptop. Uh, the old fans booted up again. Right, so... Um, where did I get to? So uh, just to quickly show you a quick command key I found. There you are. It rotates the screen, which is quite fun. Rather helpful. That's command and uh, the left arrow key. Right. So the thing I wanted to do, obviously, was create that touch to open the visor. So I did manage to do it. And I managed to close it. So that's pretty good, isn't it? So what did I do to do that? So to do that, it was using the screen tap then I would do a switch and a pulse. Now the pulse is the important part. So reading the documentation, um, it indicates that basically pulse is the thing that is sort of it, the thing that passes the message along. It's the thing that's the input. The input may be essentially in the terms of like I tap the screen, but the pulse itself is the thing that's going to fire it. So then obviously you had an animation, a transition, and then obviously we're targeting the visor. Now, I needed to obviously reverse it, so again, to reverse it, I did exactly the same thing using a switch and a pulse, but this time I set it into the reversed input, and then that would then do the reverse of this animation. So if we have a look, holding command, and moving with the mouse, just watch these numbers here, so if I tap the screen, nope, that didn't work, wrong bit, sorry guys, move back over here, tap the screen, there you go, so you can see the numbers are changing. And that was it. Um, I've obviously I've played around with the, uh, where's the easing, sorry. No, oh, there's the easing, sorry. So you can play around with the easing. I mean, I found, I quite like this effect. Linear was a bit boring. It's very sort of uniform. Whereas this is a bit more quadratic in and out is a bit more interesting. I mean there are others, the bounce really didn't work. Think, ooh, elastic in. Well, that would just be awful. Um, so quadratic in and out I think. Anyway, um, anyway that's uh, that's it guys. Thanks very much for your time and uh, thanks for watching.